South Foreland Battery was built in 1941 to protect the Dover Harbour from German shipping. It was manned by the 540 Coastal Regiment of the Royal Artillery. They worked the four 9.2 inch guns located within the battery. Deep within a protective plotting room bunker was the coordination centre of the fire control system for the guns. It received data on ship or aircraft position and motion from the fire control instruments. It determined and transmitted the range and bearing to the guns. There are two plotting rooms at South Fulham Battery. One was for the battery itself and the other one, the one you will see today, was the fortress plotting room. This was to control the other nearby batteries within the Eastern Fortress. In this episode we will be exploring the plotting room that controlled the guns within the fortress east of Dover. Let's check it out folks, let's go. Right, here we go, might as well look at the information before we start. Definitely. Fortress plotting room. You can you used to be able to see F uh, P R on it. Yeah, was that the No that was here and yeah. it's all buried now. Yeah. So here on this top bit here, F or Fortress Plotting Room initials is there. Look, you see red and blue. Yes. Uh, on here. Look. Just about. I think that's an F, and then there'll be a P, and then an R. That blue, what, the yeah. blue line being original. Yeah, yeah that so. red there, How that band that? there. Just make it out, FPR. It has said it on it, hasn't it? Fortress plotting room. Before the spray paint, the vandalism, it's yeah. a bit clearer. The only nice thing about this is it hasn't been demolished. The entrance has just been filled, filled in. in. Because you can, yeah. if you go around the other side, you can still see the vents on the top. Yeah, you can actually. Yeah. Really? Yep. Let's go look at the vents, viewers. It's quite a formidable structure. It's big, actually, isn't it? It's is a biggie. I never quite got what the big square thing on the top was, the rectangle thing. No, the vents on the top. Are they on the top? Yeah. Oh, and they've even filled those in a bit. What I'd say is looking at the shape of the concrete, they filled them in while the vent frame was still on there. Yeah, they poured it in. Mm. Crazy. But hasn't plotting room number one got this? And it hasn't got nothing on it at all? Might have. We'll have to have a look. I can't. Yeah, I'll check yeah. that out. Check it out in a bit, folks. Yeah. Another video. Where they've obviously covered it up with the soil afterwards. Look at that. Quite a big, right under big here. drop away there. So it shows them trees are under, like, on top of it. Look. Yeah, yeah keyed in really well. Yeah, well spotted, Chris. What was it last time? We found a path. Up there. That leads down here. Oh, yeah. It was you, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it weren't oh. me. No? I don't think so. Oh. Here's a concrete path here. Oh, good. No, it weren't me, Chris. I didn't know that. Yeah, so that is the original military path, and it's got the bitumen on top, yeah. like in that tin that we found downstairs. Oh yeah. I followed it along. I think it joins up at the end there, comes down, straight to the shelter as well, isn't it? Right, isn't it? Right in. Still there. Oh, Still there. Still exists. So, yeah, you. Oh, I've never seen that before, Chris. I wonder if here it goes a bit lower. When that's been banked up, you, it probably went wrong all the way across the wicking then. Yeah, straight into that deep shuttle we saw the other in the other video, thanks. So that is real. Second World War hidden architecture. So they have that, they, they could actually expose that, because it's probably not too bad a condition. Clean it all up. Yeah. There you go in, job. Job. Get, get the dust on the brush out. National Put Trust, volunteers. And obviously there's a bit that branched off there and came down steps. But, Oh wow! No deal. So I reckon it's just putting it out there. It'll probably come off this path. Probably have a step. Go down there to the entrance to that one. Yeah. Feed off straight into the FPR. Yeah, because all the. Um, there you go. 
the officers would have had a pack, definitely. They wouldn't have, they wouldn't have slummed it across the mud, would they? Again, no. the shoes, shoes muddy. He says digging up. There you go. I bet you find some bits in there. You get up. Yeah. Metal detector, folks. Are you allowed to metal detect around here, Chris? I think you're just gonna find old beer cans. You'll probably find old car parts, beer cans. Yeah. Beer Long cans or beer cans. Bag. Reading on there, it says about South Foreland, it says this is fortress plotting room mm. and it could work as a battery, it could work as a backup plotting room for South Foreland. Right. So is this fortress battery and that South Foreland battery over there? I thought it was all just one. Read, read that, see word is. This says it, this says it's South Foreland at war, fortress plotting room. They might have been both fortress put in. Yeah, and it could also but it, it says it can double up. Battery. Reserve. Reserve. It could also act as the reserve battery plotting room for the South Fallen battery. So South Fallen battery's got its own plotting room, and this was the fortress plotting room. Which makes me think that then that has to be the fortress shelter. It is a bit weird that they got two shelters. But where's the fortress? Yeah. I'm wondering if they're just using that because there's guns up the top, isn't there? Gun emplacements up the top and a magazine. Yeah. So rather than this being one big battery, is it two? We would definitely have to look up uh, information on this. There's a battery here, South Fallen further over. I thought this whole thing was South Fallen battery. I did, but the way that's worded... It might be worded uh, incorrectly, who knows? Yeah, this a, yeah, this calls it South Fallen. Fortress plotting room is SFFPR on the 1941 photograph. So it's South Foreland Fortress plotting room. Oh, and you can see those vents that were. The vents are there, look. Oh, yeah, and the two on top of that concrete. Yeah, that's. There's two further over on that picture. Yeah, so that's the ones on the concrete. And then there was something over there, which is. Over there. Yeah. I reckon oh, one has to be air in, and one lot has to be like, air out. Yeah, you'd have. You'd have exhaust at the top and then the air in. Right then, should we get in folks? I think that's the way to go. Yeah. Chris is unlocked. Chris is going in folks. This is the difficult one, isn't it? Yeah. Hey viewers, and welcome to ALW Research Team. I'm in Dover and I'm joined with the wonderful... IKS folks, how you doing? So we're going into South Forland's Forces... Correction, South Forland Fortress Plotting Room, which is here. Battery's flashing. Okay, but Chris, uh, if you could film just until it goes, hopefully it doesn't go. But so. Uh... Right then, thanks. Let's get in. A little baby curve spider left. Put some moths. Ooh, gold. Man, big mosquito. Oh, look at the moths all parts in squadron. How far? <laughs> Six <laughs> inches. Yeah, yeah. You're there, you're on it. Sorry, I was too busy filming to worry about you actually getting in. <laughs> With legs hanging down like that. Well, how far? Right then, folks, let's go. So this... It isn't, but it feels like the top of the we're rotor bunker. Goldsborough's got a rotor bunker like the lid. Like this. All messed up. Right. Oh, look at the curve spider on the way in. Oh, no. We've got a fair way down. Yeah. I have gone past that. Chris is just going to annoy it. Come on. Oh, there's another one there. Has it gone? Oh, I think that was it, wasn't it? I don't know. No. If it isn't, it's going to be really cross now. Yeah. So well, Chris, should we, should we lock the tunnel up? Oh yeah, we need to lock ourselves in, which feels quite strange. Just to stop other people coming in. I was going to say, it's to stop other people coming in, whilst we're then like sitting here waiting for people to come out. Yeah. Oh, yeah At least if we lock ourselves in, we know when we come out, we can lock it. Yeah, not just lock it with confidence, knowing no one else is down there. Right, I'm going to battery change and then, uh, then we head in. Yeah, see you in a moment, folks. Basically, this cover lifted up. Right, Chris gets in first and we're going to take some bags. Bag. Could you take the torch and just light up down the hole? Right. Yeah, I can do that. Well, if you like that, we'll have video lights. Yeah? Yeah. Just right. Otherwise, you're going down a ladder with a bag in the dark. And the angry cave spider that's in there somewhere. And with the angry cave spider. Poked with a stick. Yeah. <laughs> Here he goes, folks. Right, I'm going to take the torch. Yeah. 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 Y
Why don't I go first? Because then I have to move the spiders. Oh, they're all right. They won't hurt you, man. That's the plan. Right, we're going to give Chris the uh, camera gear, folks. We'll be back in a minute. It's quite a drop, to be honest, folks. It's far enough, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want me to go down now? Do you want me to get the other bag? Yeah. Yes, please. Got the 70 year old there. That's it. This is a bigger bag, this. You all right? You got it? Yeah. This is the only thing I don't know about this time, is the way in. Yeah, you're getting down there. The other one, those twice as deep, isn't it? The one in um, Huffham. Huffham. Yeah, I'm gonna carry the camera down there now. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be fine, I think. Yeah. Right in there. If you just leave on the side and then get in and get yourself yeah. sorted. Let's do it, folks. Let's get in there, folks. I can't obviously film this. So. I keep saying, folks, you get it off you. <laughs> <laughs> That's Yorkshire saying, though, isn't it, folks? Probably, Come yeah. Come on, then, folks. Yeah. Yeah, probably. It is a bugger, this one. Yeah. <sighs> Don't know of another encounter with that angry cave spider that Chris has poked with a stick already. Yeah, good. In he goes. As they were saying, folks, this whole lid would have pulled up and attached to that hook on the wall there. Um, back in the day to get heavy equipment down. You okay? Yeah, I'm just filming the eggs. Oh. Okay, spider eggs. Oh, yeah. All right, down we go. This should be interesting. Right, we're down um, after my crazy. Did you film all that, Andy? I did, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit. That was a bit mental. Right. Wow, well, that's fine. So, oh. can you tell me about this fortress plotting room? Right, so if it's still there, it's. Not this one. Not this one. It did have command post, or there might be the other plotter room right above the door. So, in here is the command post. Bad condition, really, is it? Is that a little loudspeaker? Is that oh, ventilation? ventilation? I think these stay in better condition because less people want to come down the ladder. Yeah. Yes. And it hasn't been on fire. Yeah, two key points, really. Yeah, it's got the original paintwork, it's still intact, which is lovely to see. Sadly, there's some surface corrosion on the roof. Yeah. Well, something like that, I'd rub down and hammer it up quite easily. This side's been repaired, then. Yeah, these are quite interesting. These pieces that have been added, I'm not quite sure what they're for, because they're not very structural. Unless it's just to sort of prop it a little bit. Yeah, I'm just going to share my torch so I've got a bend on so you can have a, I mean, it's it's on a view. Down there. Hello? Oh, there's a coat hooks. M M S M S. <laughs> He's everywhere. When me and Colin just go exploring and that, he was literally everywhere. And what's the other one? This guy. Yeah. What's the other one? There was another one. Um, I can't remember. Yeah. But yeah. It's a while ago, isn't it? Ninety-nine and two thousand and one. That's twenty-one years ago. It's a fair old. Um, yeah. And the fixtures and fittings where they've been on the wall, you can tell that there's been something like a big bell or something on that. I'll even say that's a light because yeah. there's three mounting points. Oh, the old uh, glass yeah. well. Yeah, because there's the electrics going to it, the centre of the screen now. And that looks like it used to be a socket outlet. Yeah. There. And, and there's a light switch just beyond Chris. This was quite a nice little office. No, if you did it out, I'll put it. The table, the table and that there. Awesome for working from home. I think I'd rather be down here than the other one. I mean, you've got proper concrete. Here, isn't it? I think this one's the dampest one. Yeah. Well, I think the uh, the other one is more. It's a dry one. Less moist. Less moist, folks. We like that, don't we? 
Yes, this is not quite a formidable door on it. Well, that, that, yeah. that's like inch thick steel. Well, again, all the doors have been taken out of this one. The other plotting room has the doors still in place. And we think that that was probably done by the MOD because they would have been pretty heavy that an inch thick door. They wouldn't have got it through the hatch without the, there's the old ventilation. Goes into the plant room beyond the wall. And that's the uh, way out. That plate at the top would have lifted up. There's still at bones. What? The the line that goes along with that wire or cable would have been. Oh yeah. Bows. It's not straight, is it? Oh yeah. Up, down, up, down. They just painted it in. Seating area? Yeah. Is that just for the, the runners? I'm not sure. Is this like a PBX room that sees like runners? Is that the like sealed doors? Maybe this was a um air uh what do they call it? Where they seal one door, then they lock. Airlock, yeah. yeah. It could have been, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it's going from warfare, it was a threat. Yeah, so this was a gas sealed bottle. Well, also, what that guy from National Trust was saying is that as you get further in, it was more secret. So not everyone had full access. Yeah, yeah, the further you went in. So another waiting for sort of reason. So this would have been like the messengers literally getting a paper written message and taking it to the gun battery. Yeah. In case there was a call to whack out. That's a possibility. You got the original paint everywhere, it's brown, isn't it? Like a Yeah, I quite like that colour. It's nice, isn't it? It's like a like a red. Yeah, with a banding colour. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of coat books. So I've got coat books okay. and a large seating area. Would you reckon old double coats? Yeah, with a toggle. Yeah, yeah. 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 wooden toggles. Yeah. There's that one though, there's a child. Little seating area. There's some ventilation. They did have cod's eyes in one of them. I don't know if it was this one or the other one, but then someone stole them. Yes. Yeah. Cod yeah. grass, maybe? Yeah, do you know what they're called? They're called Cod Size? Punkalubas. Oh, right. They're made by a company called Punkaluba. Right. Which I must presume that they're not British, I don't know. Warships oh, wow. used to have them. Oh, wow. So I, I've always known them Cod Size. Yeah, they look like Cod Size. Yeah, that's probably where it's come from. Mm. You see the sort of thickness of these blast doors? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was just looking at. Pop the paper there. Yeah, that is. Beastie. Right. Yeah, there has been another luminaire there, so you're, you're 100% right, Chris, they're definitely lights. They're the ones, you know, with the three, the, the glass at the back and the, the grill over the glass. Yes. Yeah. GLS lamp inside. It's a little wet. Ah, moist. Uh, right. I haven't been in this one very many times. I've been in the other one more. So this is where the table was, on top of these um, stabilizer clips over there. Is that like a big pot in the table? Yeah. I reckon so. So we've got the shower in the floor where the electrical ducts were. Still the wood there, though. Yeah, it's still the wood. So is this the finished floor or surface then? Just concrete? I reckon so. And then we've got the wood in the chamber. What if this is actually if you think about what it's painted? Oh, it does look a bit red, you know, just like a coat of wool. Yeah, it would have definitely been nice to walk. So I think this banding must be into things like right? slaughter and sort of something. You know, it's like here we've got there's black and then green below it. Yeah. Black and green, it must be into something. So if you know people, please leave a comment. Yeah, that is true, isn't it? Because then it's red again here. Really top secret, but they were closed. And they were actually broken up and taken out when it was shut. Wow. Yeah. Because that's what they were saying with the other one we went down. Cable. Uh, that it was quite state of the art technology at the time. Yeah. And they, had to, they, they didn't want to leave anything to wanted to see what was going on. The fan bay one, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, and in this room here is the. Uh, 
the gas uh, filters for the uh, anti-gas. Oh yeah. So it's like a filtration plant room. Yeah, they've got this in our treatment unit. Yeah. You see all the filters in there, the old... Uh... Yeah, they're just big gas yeah. mask elements. They have charcoal in them, I don't believe. Yeah, it's here. The charcoal element, it's all right through. Yeah. And that absorbed the chemical warfare elements. Man, air treatment unit. Still use these. Still use them? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love this old sign right here. You know, like Really, really like that. It's not bad condition in this one. It's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. So there's been something there. Possibly a little generator. A little motor in there, something like that. Yeah, because all the copper work's been stripped, because there would have been a motor there as well. Look at all the um, pencil markings. When they were doing the uh, electrics. Fitting it out, number two switch. Number one switch. There's a lot of calculations. Yeah. How amazing is that? And that look, does that say do not touch? Do not touch. Oh yeah. Some bits have been taken out and they, they've got a rubber on the bottom of that there, that ventilation pipe. The fan motors weren't all that big, were they? No. Mm. No, not looking at that. That looks like it's had two motors, like a standby and a reserve. Or is that your number one and your number two? I wonder yeah. that, would this here, would that be a spare? Possibly, a plinth for a spare. And it could just be... Yeah, swap it, swap it out. Just have a spare. Yeah. Think of the road bunkers with that. Unless you had something, maybe that would back up for like electric or something. Because would you have battery backup? Or battery, a uh, generator backup? Yeah, maybe. Because that would be a ventilation. Maybe there's a, just yeah. enough to keep the lights on. Yeah. I don't know. No. We're just chucking it out there, folks, because obviously, yeah. Yeah, we don't know everything about everything. No, that's it. We are exploring. And what we find afterwards, we'll definitely put in our regime. So yeah, people have stolen bits as well in the past. Bits and bobs. Yeah, handles and things, but still yeah. flat there. That would have operated that flat, which probably all seized up now. Yeah. That's the change over there. Same up there as well, look. Yeah, anything that could be stolen has been stolen. Though. Oh, it's lovely though. It's in condition though. Still swing? Oh. Doesn't turn. I thought it was in there. So something was in there. You know, the handle on here, wouldn't you? It turns the flap inside. Right there. Yeah. yeah it's solid. Gas plant shut. Would emergency air inlet be like recirculation as such? Yeah, it could be, yeah. Oh, look underneath. Look under there. Look at the, you can see the old writing. Oh, yeah. That's been repainted. Look on the end, the... Yeah, the stone's been redone. Oh, right, oh yeah. So this has been repainted and then they've redone the writing, but not quite as good. Yeah. That's a re yeah. Yeah, the typeface is different. That's it. Yeah, can you see that, viewers? That's mad. Well spy, Chris. Yeah, I think originally a proper sign writer's done that. They used to have like a, a wand. They have like a wand they put on. Keep to like wrist. steady the hand, yeah. and then they do it with their little... They used to have them in Plymouth Dockyard, proper sign writers. And then someone with a steady hand just come over it afterwards. It's like a decoration, well, probably rounds, 
which is where the commander comes around and checks everything's clean and lovely. Some of these spigots look quite new, that one yeah. cold. It's yeah. stainless. Shame it's seized inside. Yeah, it's all trashed. Oh. There you go. Yeah, yeah. It's the same as that wiring under your floor. Yeah. Second World War. 1940 is my house, is it? Look at that arrow. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, the extra like feathers on the end of it. Yeah. I love how quiet and peaceful this place is. It's, it's a bit dry, it'd be a nice one to. <laughs> yeah. It must be the very heavy table to be seven concrete supports. I'd like to know where the table actually went. Do you reckon it just scrapped it? It broke them up. Broke them up? It broke them up in here. So, so I should trust it. Stop the peaceful finding out what they're doing. So it's sad, isn't it? It's a funny shape as well. Yeah. I suppose, it, obviously, it's, it would have been rounded, flat one end, rounded one end. Not the ones in uh, Dover Castle, though. I think you said that the fact that maybe you stepped in, the table sort of went round, maybe you stepped in. So again, this would have a big door on it. Uh, is it still at the ceiling around the edge of it? Oh. What? You just get the walls on your head. Yeah. Yeah. Spread the money. Oh! Please, please, condensation. So you say this is the only the only potting room with the extra room. Right with that, you should be right. Cheers. There's another floor over there. There's, yeah, there's oh, we go around the void, like drainage and cable void around the around the whole potting room in a bit. Yeah. So. so this is the extra room and it's had a lot of switch gear in here. You can see where there's been panelling all the way around like an LV switch room because we haven't painted round it. Wow. If this was a backup for the other one, would this have had the, communica the communications that went to the other one, would they have come through here? So if the other one went down, they could take over plotting from here and get the same information that that plotting room would have got. Which is what they said about, the what you said about this being a reserve, this could be a backup for yeah. South Fallen battery. Yeah, so, so this one would have run Fortress, but then if the South Fallen one went down, this could take over running both. Yeah, yeah. So maybe the communications came in here before they went to the other one. Yeah. So yeah. you could switch it between the two. So this is a repeater room. So sorry. Well, that's only that's a wild guess. Because it's such a massive gun battery for the uh, you know the gun sizes and stuff. Maybe it was a you know we need this battery to carry on firing. It's a logical solution. So this mystery. Room. There's a lot in here. Yeah, there's been a lot of switch given. If you look up the top there, all on that wall. That is all cabling coming in. Yeah, that is tight on cabling. If you jump up there, you can. Oh wow. Actually, you, well, you can see just normally, but other people have to. It looks like wood, doesn't it? Yeah, that is the that is a lot of cabling. We saw similar things like that at Sunk Island. Big cable in that place. Wow. 
So that's all the italics cable in, all the comms came in. All these are comms cables. LV cables. Oh, I saw the bigger cables further back. Yeah. There. Yeah, there. Must be power. Yeah, power. So this has been an LV switch room and communications, like a telex. And that's why there's such wide channels in the floor. There's been so much going on in here. What about this oily stuff? Transformer or something? That could be out of a dash pot, which was a uh, thermal overload. Right. The sort of dash pot oil. And as the as the electrical current increased, the heat increased, and it thinned the oil, and the oil would drop out, and the dash pot would drop and cut the power. Right. It's like a thermal overload. Wow. It's all electronic now, but yeah. um, that's what they used to use. Yeah. Is this original? Sort of uh, what that chalk? Sure. DMA. DMA, DMA, you got MPI something something, D something something. It looks sort of older than the rest of it. It could be. DMA, DMA. It looks a bit too scribbled, but. Just scribble it on the wall before you fit it out. Yeah. That's going here, that's going here. Let the apprentice do it. That is a really valid point because I actually do that. I write on the wall where to get the last to fit stuff. So later, later on, that's going to be history. Your writing is going to be. You yeah. should sign it, don't it as well. Yeah, nice pencil underneath. I should put my uh, put a sticker on. <laughs> <laughs> this is mad, like, won't they? Obviously, whoever's here, they painted round. Yes. That must have took forever. And look above you. Light fixture. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'd love to see pictures of what this looked like. Oh, like kitted out. Yeah. Fully kitted out. It probably isn't it? No, because this would have been secret. There is some pictures like in the command uh, room that we went to at the beginning. Uh, what was it called? That fortress plotting room. No, uh, in that room. What did it say? Above, Above the door very quickly. Um, yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> command post. Yeah, command post. There, I'm sure there was a picture in, inside one of them. Another oh, picture, yeah. but then walk back and then we'll switch gear and stuff on the walls. Because all this gear in here would have been taken out and put in a skip. Yeah. yeah. Scrapped. There was another light there as well, though, on the wall. There's two lights in here. That's a bright idea. Yeah. B. Hey, that's a good one. So this is up like black out curtain. Then there's been a big door case in here. That's been a thick door. That's so you see just take the case in. Big old cables went down under the floor. Yeah, there's another cable box here. Put my torch in there. Oh, yeah. I like the way they smooth it down for the cable. Yeah, to root it in. So you don't get a kink in the insulation. You see in there? Yeah. Right, so we've got some more vent ducts in here. So these go to the bits that we were looking at earlier here. Yeah. Paul came in them, two extra ones to the side. Oh no, I don't. No, this, this is way further back. This is over the other side of that mound. Oh, is it? Because the ones we were looking at were on top of the entrance. Okay. When we climbed in. This is going to be right over the back. Yeah. We could go and look for that. But also, yeah. what's is interesting here, there's another. The cables came up there. There's actually another whole cable shaft. The other side of here. So it goes off that way. Oh, yeah. Because if you look in there. There's rungs going up. Oh wow, that's big in there. That's an actual cable shaft. What, man out you mean? Yeah. Yeah. You put your torch up a bit. Never even noticed that before, Chris. But there's a ladder, there's a rung. Can you see the ladder rung? Yeah. Well I can, I don't think I can. Here's a we ladder need rung to, there, uh, so we can get in there. I Is there a point to look up, Chris, get in there? That's I a brick, think you can't. You look that's up. a brick shaft, and it's clean. Yeah. Because this, is, this is the emergency exit. Yeah. This, I think, is just for cabling, because you can see, like you said, they've curved down. Cable ducts. Straight down there, curved there, straight along there. Yeah. Do the other ones have this cable ducting in there? I can't remember. They don't have that. I don't think it's, it's extens as ex <laughs> extensive as it is. Is that bent? I think so. Should I knock on it? Yeah, uh, Chris. You can try, yeah. This is a bit crackly, folks, isn't it? Yeah, just a bit. Chris is going up, give it a knock. 
Much the rust. No, Solid. That yeah. sounds like concrete to be honest. That still works. The latch still works. Give it a push. No counterweights on it though, they're long gone. No. Oh, it's going to be heavy. Yeah. Needs to be super one to lift up. There you go, the end of the rope, the metal rope's still there. We'll mm -hmm. cut it off there because the ring wouldn't go past the pulley. Metal rope? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean. Wire? Yeah. <laughs> so that was the emergency exit tunnel. Oh wow! I don't think we'll be able to. She's gonna get some fun bits. I can. A bit dangerous, isn't it? Lean, lean against the back. Go up a bit more. Can you lean against the back, or is it too far back? It's too far back. Wait, oh, here we are. There you are, folks. Let me. Okay, I ain't got it. I ain't got it. I ain't got it. Got it? Yeah. Cramp. That's not a picture for shorts, is it? No, no. <laughs> right, so at the top, look, this little latching works there. It's like a little key or something. All the wheels for the counterweights. It's all green paint. This is solid though. This must be further back towards the lighthouse, quite a way, you know? Well, like running parallel with that path. Right. Yeah. Never been up here. Got the handle at the top there. Lovely. Had to have a look, folks, didn't we? Yeah. And, um, we'll come down a little way. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, it's a bit of a look at this. Oh, wow, yeah, it's mud there. Where? Just right at the top. Really? Has it been backfilled to a certain extent then? Or is that just as The mud comes to there. Right. So, yeah. Backfield. If or I, that's the size it went. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know if we can see that. Can you see? Let's have a ladder. You got it? Yeah. Do you want to talk? Sorry, yeah. I can only see one run in that sort of. Yeah, we can see, see that, folks. Yeah. A little bit. You want a GoPro on a stick? I reckon it's mm. a manhole. Yeah, yeah, mate. Cheers. We'll come down a bit. We're not going to see that. I don't think you're going to fit your head in there. Do you want to swap? Slip that in. Right. You right, Andy? Yeah. Just taking some pictures. This is a really light here. That would have been really difficult to have got into. Because the event went straight across there. Yeah. So, you so don't, that, I don't think that room probably was used very much. Probably just like equipment. Well, this is why I think it's an emergency supply for the other one. So you could you you get in whatever communications are in the other one. So like you said, it's not used very often, but in case of emergency, it's there. Yeah. Because right. you, you'd only be climbing for a bit that big, wouldn't you? Be interesting to look at the other one now and compare these because I never can get that door. I don't think the other one has got that room either. It's very small. Yeah. That's basically it. We all just missed this room out, didn't we? Yeah. I bet it was a kitchen. Because where there's, where there's offices, there's got some tea. Yeah. And you got a little water pipe there. Possibly. Is that water? That's electric. Yeah, it's that strange. So there's electric and then there's wood. Unless it was something to do with the... That looks very shelf crack, you see that? Yeah, so it's a bit of shelf. This is a bit of kitchen, cups of tea. Well, there's your lights. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah no, look, look, that's twisted round. Look across there. Ah, uh, yeah, to a socket. Oh, for your kettle. For your kettle. Them bits there, do they not seem... The kettle, do they? With your leg. The electric kettle. It's like a bar heater. Like a heater. That's what it looks like. Would that have plugged in then? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, the loyal rad. Because there's no plumbing for it. No. The box frame, is that a bit of wood? Isn't that cable in? 
No, that's wood. It's a tree trunk. It's wood in wood. You've got a very valid point, though. If it wouldn't have been a stove or something with a kettle on it. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if they had electric kettles back then. That's what I was thinking after I said yeah, it. I don't know when they used to play with a thing. They didn't really nip to Tesco's and pick up a quick kettle, did they? Yeah, no. that'd be right. Things were hard back then, you know, I like did. Things were expensive. There's got to be people alive still who actually manned these. It's got yeah, to be. Worked, these, worked in these rooms. Yeah. Yeah, they're getting get all a bit healthy. Yeah, they've been a nurse in their morning, I imagine. Or the little bunk room, they have lots of books. Because they put their electric room on the stomach. Yeah. Well, if you are there, if you do exist, and you worked in a place like this, please get in touch about yourself or the end. It'll be very interesting. Just, yeah, just any little information that you've got just helps put these places back into, uh, just sort of pieces the little puzzle together for It us. does, yeah, because, you know, your history, you know, it's amazing. People yes. make stories and films out of um, people's real life events, don't they, you know, so documentaries. It's just stuff that if you don't tell anybody, then it's going to be forgotten forever. This one feels nice. You want to sit down? Should you have a drink? Fine. I show you thoughts they don't shut the door very often. Right, you don't need to talk to me. We weren't there at that point. Right, so Chris found about the colour, green, the original colour possibly, and the, uh, the brown colour is um, Karamazans after the Second World War, possibly like the fifties. Uh, well, I don't know Chris, talk to you about that, because the seal, it's painted over. There. Yeah, but no, look. Yeah, it's like brown. And then they just didn't paint behind the door at all. Yeah, the brown's on top. 100%. Yes. Is the rubber seal still in there? Just painted over. Yeah, it's like soft. And that was a gas tight seal. So, what we're saying is, can you paint over seals where it's supposed to seal the no, door with? Not supposed to. It's just less gas tight now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You used to choke test them. Put chalk on the seal and then shut the door and open the door while there was a gap. That's where the seal won't touch you. Right. Chalk test. Mad, isn't it? Yeah. And then Chris also found off camera in here that the ventilation ducts in. It's got brown in it and then just above it is the green where they couldn't reach and on the inside. Green as well. And you've got a lot of things up there that still got the green paint on. Oh yeah. Like the tower. There's a few of those actually. Yeah, so they would have a string coming down with a shade on the end. That's strange because of the black tower that I put the bed ducts in as if it was put in at a different date. You see that around here? Just up there. Oh yeah. As if well, the bed ducts have been modified. So that's a proper, uh, they've messed up there. I can tell you that still happens on the side now. So the, the sparkies have been put the light in, and then the vent ducting guys have just gone, well, that's why the vent ducting's going, and they've just slammed the ducts in straight beneath it. 
<laughs> oh man. So it's got that kink look to that. The vent up to it going to be here, it's going to be parallel, but we've got that kink section there. So it kinks it across. Yeah. So oh wow, yeah. Bloody hell. We find your stuff today, folks, aren't we? Christ almighty. Yeah. Good really because it's never been filmed in that place. Really, is it? I suppose. I bet no one else knows the same as the wrong way. <laughs> Great find. Yeah. Andy, yeah, definitely. Yeah, this is the wrong way. Right, shall we have a look at the old uh, one of the magazines then? Yes. Now the incredible climb out. Back through the uh, airlock. Spare boy. Light switch. Oh, Back. Yeah. Predating plastic. Still a place there. Looking ducking now. You know, the longer you cut your stainless space and then look around, the more you appreciate it. Yeah. You know, I really like this. There's this some is, ROC posts that go in on the way that only goes. That is the other half of that um, thing the filters in. The big field. The uh, handling unit door. That's the actual back. A uh, treatment unit. That's one side. Someone's took that off and got it to here, then dumped well, it. They're probably for scrap and they found out they can't get it out of the hole. Yeah, and just throwing it back down. Now you can walk all the way around. Got to do that. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> got to go around the outside of it. It's quite cold. Oh yeah, yeah, we're doing that, viewers. <laughs> quite squeezed, but uh, it's all fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I get my t-shirt absolutely grafted again. The back of it already is, it's fine. Oh, there's the basin from the kitchen that we found earlier. That's the bottom of the Belfast basin all bashed up. Oh, yeah, what's that? Big one. Ow. What's in there? Oh, it's got a bit of a hole in there. Yeah, yeah. That's where we were going. It goes around. All oh, the way around. we're going around there? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So we'll be seeing that in a minute, folks. Hi. Let's go. So this is like drainage and cables and... Oh wow, this is like flow, the, I guess. the plant ducting area. This is, if I worked down here, this is where I would have I'd hidden. Come down here to get away from everyone. Well, so it works as a drain, doesn't it? So yeah. It's quite so so the drain, oh, yeah. yeah. There is an actual pot drain there. And all the cable followers. To What's your idea? Yeah, it gets a bit low. This is where the um, uh, emergency escape goes along, I think. Around here somewhere. Oh, does that? Oh, it's just ahead of us. See, the holes in the floor is where that room is with all the uh, that brown liquid on the floor. The oh, yeah, it's all on the other side of it there. You can see it all down the walls there. <laughs> it's so tight in here. <laughs> yeah, so that is the what we think is dash pot oil yeah. that's come up with an electrical overload. So that's up there. In that room. And that's where we're that room. Yeah. Up there. So, yeah. Yeah. And then this is that other hole. If I can turn round again. I want to squeeze. I don't want to bash the camera into the wall. Oh, this is ideal. Yours. It's nice down there. Back's going now. Yeah. My spine's starting to hurt a bit. It's alright, it's not like you've got to come all the way back. That's the emergency escape there. Oh, that's wet. <laughs> yeah, it's getting a bit oh, deeper now. Oh, God, here we are. I'm stopping at this point. Right, we've seen a bit. Now we're tired. Enough. I'll go back to the beginning and don't mind. Okay. Is it getting any better? Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, it gets shallower. Ooh, look at the mold. Oh, 
water's actually really clean. Zip. I can't go any further. Why? Well, my shoes won't have it, I ain't got boots on. Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, it stops here. Yeah. Just go for it. Um, Come on. Yeah, it's one thing I've learned about Ian is he does collapse to peer pressure really Well, easily. the pressure of Chris, he's always pressuring me. <laughs> You've done it, see? Right. I'm really quite enjoying this tunnel network. Must be getting down here, surely. I'm just stand up this bit. Hi. Hi. So. That's it? Yeah. So you can either climb out this way or go back the long way? I think I'll be going back the long way. Yeah. Someone took the time of bashing through that. Yeah, that's been. That has taken quite a while. The actual manual labour. I don't see the point, though. No, I don't. So you, what, yeah. So you just go back this way. Ah! Sorry, viewers. <laughs> Here we go, folks. <laughs> right, I'll see you in a minute. Ooh, splashy. Ah. So you're quite tall, Andy, so it must be quite a struggle. Yeah, especially in this bit. I can stand up in this bit. Yeah. But, um, yeah. <laughs> this is where our journey of the plot and ruins, folks, we're going up. Yeah. yeah. Back up there. And uh, to the next location. Right, so we're going to have a look for this emergency exit location. Oh, watch these stinging nettles, Jesus. Yeah. Just, I didn't even look at them. I'm in shorts and we're deep in the nettles now. This all you need, Welly. Chris is the lead astronaut looking for the emergency exit. You found it? Yeah. You just found it? So. Oh, difficult. Wow. So this is... I will make the path. Thank you. He's lovely, Chris, isn't he? Yeah. He's got the combats on. Yeah. They're quite classic now, aren't they? <laughs> there you go. That's oh, yeah. It, and that? That would be where the is that hatch was. A vent cover? And that's, that's the other vent cover? Yes, it is. Move. The two that come up just before the hatch. So over here... It's going to be a man for so that cable duct thing. Which is interesting, because it's right next to the Transformer building. Because <gasps> oh, yeah. Yeah. we've always said that we thought that was old. Yeah. Yeah, that looks old. Yeah, because it's got bitumen on it. And it's got the, co the, the classic uh, concrete roof design, and same as the buildings that would have been here. So how would that have worked then? What do you mean? The emergency escape hatch down there. You have the three sides like that, and the emergency hatch is in there. Is in there, in that hole? Yeah. Just buried? Yeah. So I'll quickly go for where you are, Chris. You so can. if you took all that out, that has to be below the metal yeah. door. Because I think it's the same as that side. Then walls, I think, go down. So you'd have got to it from this way. Yeah, and that was a walkway out. Yeah. Wow, there we go. Never really History. noticed that before. And there's going to be a manhole. So there where Ian's standing. Ian is. So there's a cable shaft. There's a cable shaft. Then it goes down. There in. should be a manhole right down here. Right beneath the feet, folks. Wow. That's crazy. And they're the caps to the ventilation ducts. Outtakes, would you say? Yeah. Out, um, so yeah, there's right still there. the outlets. Outlets. There's still a plinth with them too. What are them little ones in, I wonder? Yeah, over there, somewhere. Because you had two in and two out, but what are them two little spinny things? Go over there. They would have been intake. Suck it down into the filter. No, because they were on top of that. So why would you add four? There was the emergency one, wasn't there, in the plant room? Oh which could have been the suctions from over there, yeah. nearer the path. Mm. Yeah. Right. Is that still in use then? It's yes. still got a sign on it saying uh, high it's electricity. Like, yeah, it got a transformer in it and stuff. Yeah, because the gravel looks new. So it's not like long. You can, you can sort of see it when you get to the, the gate to the lighthouse that's over there. You can see the front of that oh, from right, the other okay. side. So we could just look at that. Yeah. Right, amazing. There it is, emergency escape folks. Oh. Stung legs now. Oh yeah, it's all on my ankles. Ah! I did try. Thank you. Just somewhere here. So it's just to one side. beyond and to one side, so about there where that lump of concrete oh, yeah. is. 
for that is in like a front room thing. You sure it would be that far out? Away from it? Yeah, it was off to one side. Let's have a look at the picture again in a second. My leg is really stinging now. Yeah. I've got some sting cream. Up to one side. Could just be two pipes up, couldn't it? I can't think what else that would be. No. So in focus then. Oh, Chris, right Sorry. in front of me. The focus. There. And the things. I think, for that, so I think they look right next to it where that tree I is. Yeah. I don't think they're that close. I think I think they're here somewhere. Like an optical illusion. Here somewhere. Where it's very flat all of a sudden. Yeah. Right where you are, I think. So I doubt they'd be like right over there. Is that a brick? Yeah. Yeah, where something's been demolished. Gonna play it too much, I guess we end up with a hole. Down the hole. Yeah. Wow, so that Magic. was that, viewers. Right, moving on. Moving on, yeah. So we're going to go look at a magazine now. Yep. Magazine number four, I believe it is. This way, is it? Yep. So that's the plotting room. Fortress plotting room. 